Hello, my name is Shadley, and welcome back for another episode of Hearts Road 3 in Black Eyes as PRC. So we still continue our uh, very, very slow combat against uh, Tibet in here, and I just realized something. We still have regular artillery on the mountain, so we should definitely start upgrading these to pack artillery and pushing those to the top of the list. So we might need to delay the attack into uh, the rest of Tibet over here for a little while. We could still do the ground attacks, I suppose, although we could probably just let the planes rest for a little while. So I think, yeah, well, could I go ahead and cancel these attacks? For a while, that's another major defeat, admittedly. But uh, if we were to upgrade these artilleries into pack artillery, that's going to allow us to get much better terrain bonuses. And thus, maybe the well, it's still going to have the weather impact in here, regardless. So it's not necessarily going to be that easy. Who knows? Maybe they'll start attacking us now. Oh, propulsion, guidance, and oh, we didn't get the warheads uh, quite yet. So those two can be dropped from the research queue. Oh, and yeah, let's go ahead and take the, especially the close air support, let those rest. The light bubble is going to do, well, the, I'll let them do that sortie and then we'll go ahead and cancel the orders for them. In fact, I'm going to send the light bombers back to, well, capital doesn't have that high of a airbase. Do I have any good airbases nearby? Not really. Send that these to Shanghai. They can get the upgrades sorted out and all that. Hey, warhead fusing. Okay, so we can now get the torpedoes another upgrade. Still gonna take a while, mind you, but it's uh, probably gonna be all right. So, Soviet Union, and you still don't want to be really pulling us towards you, do you? I suspect once Santa Tuba is gone, that's probably gonna speed up the process again a tiny bit. Of course, oh, I think what I might even do. It's gonna call for a quick little console command. But once uh, they've annexed Tanatuba, I'm going to have them annex Mongolia as well. And then what I can do is uh, that means that they're not as closely aligned. So thus there's going to be more pull for us to be pulled towards the common churn. And that's going to allow us to then join, hopefully. Although there's a chance that they'll just recreate Mongolia as soon as we annex them for them. So I don't know. Uh, we may need to consider that. Ooh, there we go. Counter-attack. Uh, the enemy, they're taking pretty decent damage in there. So that's good. But yeah, we're just going to get the... Actually, doesn't really need to go all the way there. It's not really going to be gaining a lot of organization, mind you, but... Uh, oh, another few attacks coming in. But yeah, just getting the pack artillery over here for the mountain is probably something that we should uh, prioritize, actually. So much so that I forgot to uh, toss those to the top of the list. There we go. So these should be at least slowly improving in here. And the sooner we have these sorted out, the better. Of course, so there's uh, a bit of upgrade actually now that we need. And of course, the enemy keeps on attacking us. Not really very successful. Oh, we got a whole lot of infrastructure again. There we go. How's our contraction practical looking like now? 9.6. Pretty decent. We've got the naval air targeting, so we're getting a slightly better naval bombers then. May not be a huge improvement, but it's it's all right. We need to get those uh, small increments to get into the levels that we want them to be in. Oh, third echelon advance. There we go. And small navigation radar. Uh, right, so third echelon. What do we get? Uh, ah, the army group headquarters. At some point, we might be approaching the point where we just don't have any combat delay anymore because we've got so many techs that uh, reduce it. But there might also be just a minimum combat delay of like 24 hours. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, supposedly. Oh, yeah, the Soviets have managed to take uh, Vitebsk. Omol. They're not quite at Kiev yet, but they're pretty close to it. So actually, have they? Oh, they managed to take the manganese back. They're not quite at their mass livestock yet, but they have managed to take their fertile soil as well. So that's going to give them a decent bit extra manpower back. Oh, and we lost the trade deal with the Americans. Unfortunate. Let's go ahead and embargo another uh, smaller um, allied nation. I'll solve it. There we go. Let's embargo that. So I'm going to go ahead and buy some more aluminum. I know that we're going to need a decent bit of that. Buy some from the Dutch. We've got plenty of money, so might as well use that to buy some more resources. Technically speaking, I could probably automate that process. Ooh, jungle unit training. Aha! And there's a bit of a counterattack from the enemy. Nothing too bad, mind you, but uh, slightly unfortunate for them. Of course, here's the thing. Uh, if we don't uh, get... Oh, there we go. A build time is reduced. Infantry combine arms advance. Oh, that might be ahead of time now. Yep. Yeah. Although it's uh, not going to be ahead of time for that long, so we're going to keep it in there. Because it's almost 1944 anyway. 
We're already at 2,000 manpower again. That's been increasing quite nicely. Bombing sites advanced. There we go. So our planes are going to be... Oh, right. Now that there's less reinforcement upgrades needed. I suppose we could go ahead and set up another mechanized division. Uh, for this one, I think we're going to go for a little bit different. We'll leave these two. I'm going to put in the armored support. We're going to push in an assault gun in there. Don't necessarily need to have armor in there directly because that already gives a decent chunk in there. We could put in the heavy AT actually in there. Get the piercing that we need. And then I suppose what we'll do. Let's put armored car in there. Oh, actually, armored car would even increase the softness. Hmm. All right then. Uh, well, in that case, we don't really have an artillery yet. We could put in self prepared artillery in there. It doesn't have a huge stats, but it's better than nothing. I mean, it's fast. Also, we could just put in... Well, that would re reduce the softness. We do have the assault gun, to be fair, so we don't necessarily need that too badly. Oh, right, having the assault guns and heavy AT are part of the same group there, so actually, that's not a smart idea. Um, so we've got the mix support. Put in the motorized engineer, yeah, that's always a decent chunk, or decent option. And then maybe we could put in um, heavy AA. To be fair, the self propelled AA is going to be the best to... Oh, there we go. So that's 52% combined arms bonus. That's already pretty decent. So let's get more and more of the mechanized troops underway. Although, I suppose uh, we did get the upgrades for the interceptors recently. So I'm going to get another 8 uh, squadrons of those. To get more interceptors. Because I have a feeling that once we start fighting against the Germans or something, we're going to need a whole lot of them. Oh, high velocity gun. There we go. Heavy tank destroyers unlocked now. There we go. Fire control, computer advance, armor metallurgy. Hill strike tactics, enable tactics. So the high velocity gun is now definitely ahead of time. We can get the armor piercing capped underway, and that's going to be something that we'll just top, uh, prioritize immediately. And then we could get the heavy tank destroyer underway. Those are going to be well. We don't really need to research it to or like it as a priority. So we'll get to those eventually. Uh, we've got the extra wide tracks already. Do we have anything else that we can read? Well, I suppose there's that one, but uh, I still have suspicion that the. Oh wait, no. This advanced armor design. Okay, so that needs to be uh, research. Is there anything? Ah, we're gonna get the science seed armor protection soon-ish. Uh, unlocked at least. Well, once we get the advanced armor design to level four. So I don't know how far below or behind, or how far down rather on the list it is, but it's probably gonna take a little while. So how long until we get the artillery upgrade for the back artillery? February. Okay, so after February we can then start attacking uh, the. Uh, Tibetans over here once more. Now, middle, we can just keep this war going for as long as we want, really. It's not really that bad of a deal for us. And yeah, the Soviets are definitely doing pretty good in there. How are we looking on the... So, still not drifting all that much. And there's a bit of counter attack. Engineering unit training advanced. Very good. That's probably ahead of time. Yeah, it is. We're going to drop that one. We are getting the armor engineer research at some point. We're also getting the medium fuel tank research soon enough. And the frigate class, so we can start building some frigates, so uh, hunting down any submarines, which they are probably going to be plenty, well, it depends who we're fighting, I suppose, but there might be plenty. So at least having some of those will be quite useful for the anti-submarine warfare. Oh, there we go, heavy IC is increased. And there's the radar for destroyers and frigates. I'm guessing that is ahead of time. Oh, yes, it is indeed. Down to 174 techs. Not too shabby. We've got a few more infrastructure built and some industry actually as well. And air rays, we've got the medium armor. Oh, right, that was actually quite a while ago. Oh, but right, we were scrolling up. So it had an upgrade. There we go. So yeah, no, we haven't got a new industry quite recently, but it's going to be 1st of um, January now. Oh, and there's the frigate glass. There we are. So we'll get the economic boost. Uh, we could probably go with the short term just to get the extra IC going. Um, espionage focus, what do we have right now? Economic spy. I mean, getting the extra IC efficiency is not bad, so we can hold on to that one. I could also go ahead and just buy some more. No, buy some more manganese. I guess from Cuba. Well, we have embargoed already, mind you, but uh, still. Actually, have we managed to drift any further along here? Um, Not really. So joining the faction is going to be. With this speed, is going to take a decade at least. Well, the Tibetans are trying to do a counterattack. Oh no. All right, let me actually go through the text real quick. This is, uh, I'm just going to skip through these. 
There we go. So we're back to 100 or 231 research. It's basically almost everything that had 1944 in there is now research. Ooh, tropical island garrison units. There we go. And high popularity instead of medium. That's actually pretty nice. We've got the bridge equipment. Uh, so actually that can stay in there right now. There we go. That is very nice. We still need to wait another month and a half at least for the pack artillery and then probably a little while for them to regain their organization. We're probably not going to be... Oh, there we go. Manganese surplus is increased. So it's uh, hopefully going to reduce the time to build up the mechanized divisions over here. Yeah, that's going to be done in June uh, right now. Uh, how much do we have armor practical by chance? Uh, we've got 2.5. Okay, it's not a huge amount, but it's better than nothing. Army asks for more money. I suppose we can pay that. We've got the cash. Army unit uh, command and control advance. So we got even more or or morale in there. Actually, I believe we're still yeah, we're very much behind in that tech. So I'm going to go ahead and prioritize that even further. Just keep on researching that over and over again until the organizations at least on our armored units are or the morales rather on the armored units are decent actually i do wonder do we have okay so over here we could probably check that there's 34 morale right now on at least the armored brigade or regiment rather oh we did get another steel refinery okay not that we necessarily need too much of those right now we've got basically as much supplies or resources except oil is the one thing that we don't have a huge amount that's a bit of an unfortunate thing, but our industry is now 555, so that's pretty decent. Now, to be fair, we did get the 10% boost in here until May, so that's already pretty decent. Aviation, ASS, radar, advance, very good. Is that actually, if we have a look at the avionics, so that, no, it's not ahead of time yet. Good. Ooh, parachute support, advance, there we go. So transport planes are going to be slightly cheaper to make. Not that we'll have a whole lot of them, but a few here and there. But what I could do is I could take one of these uh, infantry divisions. I'm going to move it to the west. And what it's going to be is basically just have a bit more troops to fight in uh, Shanza. And then uh, I suppose, we're, yeah, the close air support is now in good shape. Oh, we're actually going to have another level for the prototype in, like, tomorrow, actually. Oh, and there we go. We're going to start researching more plane uh, techs over here. All the prototypes, especially the twin engine stuff. Well, well it is the twin engine stuff. And get the light bombers at least upgrade it as soon as possible. I suppose we could get the all four, except the transport plane. I mean, the transport upgrade only gives a bit of extra range, so that's not really a huge priority. But it would be nice to have, mind you. I mean, if we have a look at our current transport planes, they've got 360 kilometer range, so if we get another 60 kilometers for that, it's not too bad. Actually, how? Oh, right, the mid air refueling. Right, so we'd have to get the four engine planes to upgrade it, but that would increase the range by another 100 kilometers. Or a lot of the planes actually so that could be useful it could be useful i will look at the resource so we still need nickel and molybdenum that i don't think we're going to fix that anytime soon we could probably buy some more copper in the meanwhile for example from the soviets speaking of which how are they oh they're offering a oh sure we can sell you some fuel i know that you're going to be eventually canceling that deal though but uh i suppose that's all right i could ask for access but they would not accept that I could potentially offer some lend lease to them. I don't know if that's going to pull us any closer to them, though. Because right now the drift just... It seems to have stopped. And it's not wanting to move us any closer than this right now. Oh, back up into nice settlements. I'm going to take the extra science again. We do have a unit. Oh, another infantry division. Okay, so there's another infantry call then, I suppose, that we could start building up. Now, the question is, of course, do we prepare these for a potential fight against, or second, or round two against the Japanese? Do we prepare for an, uh, hmm, technically speaking, if I was to start fighting the Allies, it would be risky, very risky. But I suspect that I might be able to get into, like, at least Burma. I would have to have a whole lot of uh, ships and all that, but that would be a, at least, way to push me away from the Allies, de definitely. And thus, uh, that might allow us to get our um, goal and join the common turn uh, but i suppose we've got three cores over uh, four cores over here right now plus the fifth core over there so i think what we're going to do is we'll actually go ahead and uh, start preparing for potential fight in here we'll get another core uh, is there any there is the southern army but that's a bit far away isn't it it is okay so we might want to get up a new army in here then oh we've got the indochina army already oh well, we might want to move the Indochina army a little bit further south then. But do we have any... We do have some garrisons in here. Ah. That would do it then. Let's assign this under the uh, southern army, maybe? Well, I say this... Oh, well, actually... 
Uh, there's a lot of coastal guard. Yeah, so it could be the, the part of the Sun Army then, yeah. We might just want to move this one a bit further south. I suppose we could take the 10th core. Move that a bit further north. Some of these troops might not be within range, but that's going to be all right. So we can put this under the Indochina army. We need to get another core commander for this. Which, to be fair, we can just probably take one of these uh, current division commanders. And reassign over here. That's going to allow us... Oh, and we're getting some of the armor units already upgraded on the motorized core. So I might want to go ahead and take, uh, for example, this part of the first army. Right, I'm just going to go ahead and send these ones uh, probably down south. Not all the way into Indochina yet. Actually, how's the infrastructure in there? Uh, I think we may need to go ahead and... Actually, where's the supplies? Okay, the supplies are flowing around here. That's uh, something that we're going to upgrade quite easily. Uh, at least you have five levels of infrastructure along here where the supplies are flowing. And over here, yeah. So that's the gap that we kind of needed to cover. Ooh, there we go, copper surplus. And there we go. They're doing some counterattacks in here. Not very successfully, mind you. We did get some more troops in here, did we? Not yet, actually. Yeah, and it's redeploying all the way around. Oh, thanks to the attack over there, I suppose. Oh, there we go. Tandis Uber probably is gone. I do wonder if that has now an impact on us joining the... Or drifting towards the common drone. It has increased the value a little bit. Still not all that much, though. Right, I'm going to double check the console command for this. So it's a loser country. And then, okay, so we're going to try this. Uh, they might, um, you know, it might not work. But let's uh, see. Surrender. Mongolia. Or Soviets. So will that actually have a larger impact? It does. There we go. Now, of course, they might uh, release uh, Mongolia pretty much instantly. Which if they do, then that's unfortunate, but that's not much I can do about it. But now we have an average relation with the, all the Comintern members at 200. Well, 190 probably now since they've cancelled the trade deal. But I'm hoping that that's going to allow us to at least drift slightly uh, closer. They do provide a bit of, uh, yeah, they're a bit of a threat to us. us. Uh, closely allowed. Okay, so at least that... Oh, yeah, there we go. That should be a pretty decent increase now on that. As long as they don't recreate Mongolia, which they will have an event or decision to do so. Oh, there we go. Radar station in Taipei. We're getting a bit more... Uh, well, we don't really get much intel on the islands or anything like that in here, but it will help in the air combats and all that. It might help also spot some of the enemy units overall. Uh, acoustic torpedo. Oh, there we go. That sounds like a pretty nice idea, actually. So we've only got one army over here. Uh, or one army's worth of troops in here. I suppose we could probably... These are part of the Western Army still. We could just create a new army in here. Have this under the Western Army group. And then uh, where's the... Right, so this could be under the Western Army now. And did we get the motorized core in here? We did. It'll be the fourth... No, it's not the fourth core. No, it's the second core over here. So assign this under the Western Army. How good is the army group commander in here? It's only skill level 2 though. I suppose we could probably go ahead and get someone a bit more skillful in here. In charge of that one at least. Because that's going to be, uh, well, reducing the supply use, especially for the motorized and such, uh, quite a bit. Is that one that's skill level 5 with a mountaineer? That wouldn't be nearly the worst. Probably not the best either, to be fair. That one's got some... Uh, ooh, this one's got quite a list of... Uh, Upgrades in here. So we'll also go ahead and upgrade this one to Field Marshal. And then I suppose we can go for the Western Army Group and switch the leader in here. There we go. So that uh, should reduce the supply use quite a bit in here. And the enemy is definitely taking a decent bit of casualties over here. On trying to attack us. Because we got the close air as well. We haven't gotten the extra uh, levels for the airfield yet. And we're waiting for the pack artillery to be completed. Oh, there we go. Special Forces Combined Arms Advance. Is that uh, by chance ahead of time? It actually is. So we can drop that one from the research queue now. Still at 231, though. Ooh, export rubber. Um, right, well, that kind of means that we may need to do a... a ...re-host in a bit. Because we'll be clearly we're running out of memory in-game. We've been uh, breezing through the months fairly quickly. As Belgium, I'm not going to export rubber to you. So what we're going to do is we'll do a quick little cut here. I'll uh, save and re or reload. So I'll be back in a moment.
There we go, they're a bit longer than expected, but yes, we're back now. Um, of course for you, luckily, it was just uh, instant cut there. Uh, but yeah, so we are slowly making some, uh, well, right now, so still trying to upgrade the mountain units with pack artillery. Shout out that that is ago, to be fair, but we didn't unlock that for a long while, to be fair, so... It kind of makes sense, why didn't, uh, especially then uh, these mountaineers were in combat for a while, in, first in Manchuria and Korea, and then in Taiwan. After the war, I probably could have started upgrading them, to be fair, but uh, I kind of forgot. So, there is that. The battles that we're still fighting against the Tibetans over here shouldn't be too difficult for us. I mean, well, it's going to be wrecking their troops for sure, but I don't know if we would really want to attack in the capital quite yet. Oh, there we go. I have a transponder, so a bit more air detection. Very good, very good. We are going to be getting a bit of an injury done soon enough as well. And uh, actually, by the end of the month, we'll get at least one, two. Then in January or February, rather, we'll get a few. There's a major victory. There we go. 8,000 casualties for the enemy. Oh, boy. That is a lot. That is a whole lot. We could redirect our manpower, but right now I'm actually saving up a bit of the manpower. Now, to be fair, we could always just increase the uh, military service length and the draft law, the contrition laws, to be a little bit uh, higher. But I like the extra industry right now to just increase our, well, industrial capabilities in general, to be fair. Oh, we are actually almost out of uh, construction or production queue again. Hey, airplane radio communications advanced, military ration production advanced, and we're under attack once more. I'm um, going to go ahead and put in yet another mechanized division. Now, of course, since we had to rehost uh, or uh, reload, we don't have the previous division as a base over here to work with. But I think what we'll do is we'll put in the... I guess we could put in our car in for this one. We'll put in the... Heavy AT. So it's going to be a little bit softer mechanized unit. It's not going to be too bad, I don't think. We could probably put in some armor in there, to be fair. My medium tank would probably do. And then that leaves us with... Uh, I suppose we don't have any sort of artillery yet. Put in the self prepared artillery. What's the terrain modifiers for this, actually? Um, especially in, like, attack, it's got a fairly good planes attack. Desert, highlands, highlands desert. And then for attack is actually a bit positive in there, so that wouldn't be initially the worst thing to have. Of course, many of the other terrains might not be all that great, but yeah, we'll go with that. For now, anyway. We are going to be getting some heavy cruisers soon enough. Oh, and there we go. Another victory. In Tibet. Of course, we still need about a month before the pack artillery is completed. The first one's going to be done in the 17th of February, but beyond that, yeah, it's going to take a while. Night equipment. Oh, there we go. So that is that. That's in the... Hold on a minute. Air system? No. Avionics? There we go. So it gives a bit better night attack and defense. Which, admittedly, is going to be quite useful, I reckon. Oh, there we go. Single engine armor is going to be done now. Uh, so another step closer getting to... Even a little bit further along with the single engine planes. Those are the main thing that we are going to be flying, I reckon. But uh, they're not going to be the only thing. Oh, there's another... Attack there. That's another set of uh, garrisons, actually. We'll go ahead and put these into the eastern half of uh, Korea, I think. We'll start with Hamhung. Set up a core over there. And is there... Well, there's the northern garrison still that we're going to sign that under. Yeah, that's actually fine. Uh, right. We don't actually need a core commander for that. I'm going to put one in here. One probably over there. Definitely need to get these two as well. And then we've got one more over here. There we go. So that should be the core sorted out now. It'll give us a, a slightly better safety over here for the ports and all that. We can maybe put that one a little bit to the side. This one could probably move moved about as well. And then that could be... Well, these could be moved around. So we've got a fairly good defenses for the coastline and spread out fairly well. Oh, we've got another factory in Jinan. Okay, that that's our heavy industry. So that should give us another point through that maybe actually i'm not entirely sure if it uh, combines all the provinces or just a per province basis oh and tai yuan got another oh there we go that's uh, maxed out now so that's going to be slightly better as well total we've got um already 239 ic and it's actually probably going to go up a bit higher as well oh actually the self artillery brigade advanced there we go that's level three now so that's going to have a slightly better stats it's probably not a huge uh, improvement in there, but it's still better than nothing. 
And now we're already in February. So actually, how much uh, we can still upgrade that further? There we go. We can keep on researching it for sure. Research production. We'll take that. Medium popularity. Well, that's a bit unfortunate. Ah, there we go. There's the cruiser. So I'm going to go ahead and put in one heavy cruiser on the bigger fleet. Which is uh, down here. Down there. Okay. How much do you have ships there total? That's nine. We are not over the stacking penalty yet. I'm not entirely sure how close to that we are, though. But I think nine ships is probably going to be more than enough uh, currently. It's got one heavy cruiser. We could maybe put in the second heavy cruiser in there, to be fair. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and put in... Uh, well, we haven't got on the better cruiser tech yet. Heavy cruiser, th that is. Although, are we... Hold on a minute. We are researching it. I'm going to just put in another couple light cruisers, I suppose. They're still going to take a whole lot of time to build. And now we've got the frigates. I'm actually going to go out and get a few of those as well. At least six. We could get seaplane tenders. They're not necessarily all that great. They can do pretty decent or some damage on submarines. They've got a fairly good uh, uh, spotting. Not necessarily the... Well, off the surface vessels is probably the best spotting. Unless uh, we're carriers, you might get slightly better results. I'm not necessarily going to build anything else on Navy Wise right now, but we may need to add in some more stuff into the production queue soon enough. But the situation in uh, Tibet is most... Oh, auto uh No, not this time. Another automotive factory. Yes, please. And Nanning gets uh, heavy, I see. Oh, ho, ho, ho. There we go. Another heavy cruiser. We'll put that in there. Uh, right, so... Oh, right, it's over here. Well, yeah, it's uh, already got five iron industry in there with the heavy IC, so that's a pretty decent location for it. And what do we have ahead of time? Submarine AA. Ah, okay. Yeah, we can drop that uh, from the research queue now. Still got way over two, or well over 200 research now underway, but we're going to be making a bit of a dent on that over time, I reckon. Ooh, looks like the Soviets have managed to start pushing further west. Uh, they have uh, not taken Kiev yet, I don't think. Ooh, there we go, more, one more automotive factory, and there's another infantry division. And go down to Indochina. So yeah, Kiev, they've started uh, clearing out of the western side of the river already. A decent chunk in there, so they might be retaking that in due time. Ooh, a nylon, there we go. We'll have that one. We did start producing at some point. So now we'll be able to... Oh, oh we've got a bit more production available as well. Okay, um, I suppose, how many mechanized divisions do we have already? Uh, three underway. So we're going to make another two. I'm going to put one with heavy armor, actually. It's going to be bloody expensive. Uh, but I suppose... Sydney, it probably doesn't need the heavy AT. Not really. we put in the assault gun for that instead. So this is going to be a very mechanized division. <laughs> 52 IC costs. Hmm. It's a little bit on the expensive side. That's uh, number four, and then we'll get one more. We'll probably put in, like, um, medium armor with that as well. And then we'll keep the self-propelled and assault gun in there. We could maybe take the armored car away and put in, let's say, armored support in there. So there we go. That's a decent... That's okay, that's I would say. It's got toughness of over 100. Softness of only 21%, so it won't take too much uh, casualties from the enemy soft attack. So that's going to be a full-on uh, mechanized core that we'll have ready. Now, whether it'll actually get to fight against the Germans or not remains to be seen. Probably not. With this speed, at least. Although, we are now slowly drifting towards the common turn, right? A little bit. Of course, we're still 135. Okay, so we still need to get another 110 points closer to them. So, it might... Oh, and we got synthetic rubbers. Okay. That doesn't seem to be taking as long as the... Oh, yeah, no, that's only a few months. Hmm, interesting. Well, we can keep on uh, improving that, then. Yeah, it's only like three months that it's uh, got the delay there. But that does mean that we'll have a rubber production at least, uh, mostly under control. How are the British doing over here? Oh, oh, okay. I think the British may have lost a little bit of ground in the south, but they have gained more ground in the north. So sooner or later, Japanese will be pushed out of Malaya. And, oh, they're taking a bit more ground in Borneo. Java is still the same as it was previously, we checked. And they haven't regained really much ground there. What about... Oh, actually. Okay, Hawaii is in American hands. Americans also got Midway. And Wake Island. But they haven't... Uh, yeah, they haven't really got on any closer to Japan as such. Although they still control Philippines. So it's very likely that eventually they'll start doing some landings in there. Of course, the Americans, I reckon, are probably 
focusing a lot of their efforts on the European front right now. Oh, there's a Canadian landing in Portugal. And okay, the British have lost a little bit of ground on the eastern or southeastern part of Spain, but they have gained a bit further north of uh, Sevilla. And then, oh, oh, <laughs> how did this happen? There is a British landing in Normandy and Brittany. Okay, well, good on them, good on them. Norwegians still control their stuff as they used to. Anyway, with that, we are unfortunately out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe if I haven't already. I'll check out the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.